In this video, we're going to be putting together some of the basic skills that we have learnt using Python's turtle module to create ourselves this simple domino. So as you can see, it's just made up of two squares and a few circles. Okay, there's not much to it. So let's get started on making this today by heading over to our Python editor, which is Mew. And the first line of code we need to type in is the same one as always when we're using turtle. It's from turtle, so we're saying from the turtle library, we're going to import everything so that's all the functions inside of it so we'll have access to all the functions to allow us to draw on the screen the speed in which we are going to be drawing at today is zero which is the quickest speed possible the bg color which is our background color can be whatever you want i'm going to go with indigo um and once we have done that i think we are good to get started so i am going to just lift my pen up off the page and I'm going to go to minus 100 comma zero as my starting point. So that's just a little bit to the left of the page. And when I'm there, I'll put my pen back down, ready to get started. So the first thing I'm going to draw are the squares. All right, so I'm going to pick a color for those squares. I'm going to have black as the outline color and white for the fill color. Okay, I'm just going to put a comment here so you know that We've got the outline first, followed by the fill color, just in case you need to come back and refer to that later on when changing colors. Uh, once your colors are selected, we can turn on the fill by writing the begin fill function. And I'm just going to create a loop to draw the first square. So it's going to be for i in range 4. Remember there's four sides on this square. And they're going to be 200 pixels each in size. And each corner is going to be a 90 degree right angle. Okay, so these two lines of code here that have been indented under the for loop are the two lines of code that will be repeated a total of four times. Okay, so we go, the turtle is going to draw forward, draw one line, and then turn right 90 degrees. We'll come back around, go forward again 200, and then turn right 90 degrees again. And it just keeps doing that until it's done four times, which will draw us a square. So let's just have a quick look and see how we're going. So you need to save your document first, just call it Domino, and give it a run, and you'll see we've got our square drawn. Okay, we haven't said end fill yet, using that end fill function, that's why it hasn't colored in, but we'll get to that in just a moment. All right, what I want to do next is I want to draw the next outline um, of the square that's going to go above it. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to need to jump out of that for loop and turn left 90 degrees. I'm then going to complete another loop. Now I only need to repeat this three times, this loop. I don't need to do it four times and I'll show you why in just a moment when I run it. It's basically the same code. We're going forward, whoops, 200. And this time we're turning right 90 degrees as well. And that should do us. Okay, so let's just run that. You can see we've now got two um, squares drawn to make up our domino. I'm just going to slow down how he quickly draws this so you can see what happens. So it does the first four sides and then for the top square it only does one, two, three. Okay, I'm just saving a little bit of code by just repeating that line there three times. So we're only doing that last loop three times, not four. Okay, there's no need to do four. That's why I chose um, a range of three. All right, to color that in now, we just need to jump out of the loops and end our fill off, and you'll see that you'll have your squares colored in now. So what we need to do next is simply draw the circles that are going to go onto this domino. So let's put in a comment that says circles. Um, so I might just do the top circle to start with, because we're doing one circle in the top one, so I'll start with that. Top circle. We're going to go pen up. And we're going to go to a set of coordinates, which are 0 on the x-axis and 130 on the y-axis. Okay, so we're just heading straight up the page. We'll put our pen back down. We're in position. And we'll pick a color, which is just going to be black this time. No outlines or anything, just a fill color. And we're going to begin our fill because we are ready to start drawing this circle. As you know, drawing a circle super simple. We just write the word circle and pick the radius size. I'm going to choose 30. And to make sure that circle colors in, we need to end the fill function off. Give that a run. And we should get two squares and now a circle has been drawn. 
So the top part of the domino is done. We've just got the bottom bit to go where we've got two circles. Okay, they're in opposing corners of the um, square. So let's put in a comment that says bottom circles and we're gonna have to lift our pen up again while we move into our new position. So let's go to minus 50 on the x-axis, so a little bit to the left, minus 20 on the y-axis. So we're going down a little bit below halfway on the page. Once we're there, we can put our pen down and we can change our color to black. Actually, we don't need to do color black. We've already done that, so leave that out. We can just turn our fill on. Okay, we're going to draw another circle, which is the same size as the previous one, which is 30 uh, pixel radius. And we'll end our fill off. That should be enough to draw the first of the two circles down the bottom. Should appear just there, which is right. So we want another one to appear down the bottom right corner now. So pretty similar code. We'll have to do, the, actually might be able to copy and paste here. Let's do a bit of a copy and paste job. We'll cheat. We're only going to change the coordinates. So the coordinates we need to change, where we go to. We're going to make it 50. We're going to make it minus 120. Everything else is the same. So let's just run that. And that will save us a little bit of typing. There you go, got your domino done. Just to get rid of that little turtle that was drawing our shapes, it does look a little bit ugly there at the end. Uh, looks like one of the circles isn't quite right. We'll need to call the hide turtle function right at the very end, and that just hides our turtle uh, once the shapes have all been drawn. And there you have it. That is how you quickly draw yourself a domino using code in Python.